Hey guys, welcome back to another video and my dwarf pomegranate tree that you can see here or that part of it at least you can see here. I will try to put in footage over over the camera right here right now that shows you the entire height of this tree and that probably gives you already an indication of what I want to do today with this tree which is taking it down a notch. So actually reducing the height of this tree considerably. I feel it has grown quite a lot the last two years that I have had it now outside on my balcony and it is time to really start training it also to become a bonsai in the future. So I want to really considerably taking it down and I will start doing that right away with simply reducing the height at the beginning just to give you a better picture then. So just to give you an idea of how much more on this tree is, I can show you right here. This was the apex basically or part of the apex that I took out now. And we will continue doing so for now, simply going around the tree, just reducing the height a little bit in the beginning to get a better view of the rest of the tree and what we will do then on that parts of the tree. Also reducing the width of it a bit because it is simply taking up so much space, which makes it a bit difficult to film, but little by little we're getting there and then it gives you a great overview of the tree. Of course, before I go in too drastically now, I'm just taking out the top. As I said, I do not already want to think too much about the structure, but of course keep some options open still while taking it down and reducing the height of the tree. But I can already see, for example, I do consider this as the, the front of the tree. I really like the taper, but I feel here we have a, a side branch that we probably won't need in the future so I would take this one out right away so let me get as close as possible in here and we take out this very thick side branch that we had. I probably will try to root part of this. It is still in the dormant phase quite obviously but as spring is right around the corner um, my dwarf pomegranate is normally one of the first trees that is again starting to leaf in spring so I would suggest or I would probably think that in roughly three to four weeks we will see the first buds on this tree. And before it really starts to produce new leaves and put all the energy into that, I want to reduce it already into a height that I find better for the tree so I won't stress it then while it is already growing. So we're just reducing the size all around the tree right now. Also here the side branch we can take back. After winter normally I do also have some branches that probably anyway have died back so there will be always some dieback on my pomegranate after winter but I think this time as it was quite a mild winter we do not see too much dieback on the tree as of now. Here are some smaller side branches. Uh, this one here I do more see as a sacrificial branch. You can probably understand why it comes at a very low part of the trunk here. And I just will keep it on to thicken also this lower part of the trunk in the future still. So just reduce it to some side branches, but it's got to go basically. So it already gives us a better view of the tree. Still a lot to deal with and a lot to look at, but it is definitely already becoming a bit more easy to see a potential structure which we could go with in the future. So let's have a look around the tree. I also do like this side of the tree, but I feel like it's leaning a bit too far in the back. So it's a bit too cluttered from this side. And here it is naturally more open and more inviting. So I would see this more as the front of the tree. We do still have some problematic back branches, I would say. Because here we have some branches that are very close together. I will show you from this side. I'm meaning those two here in the back. And I'm wondering which one of those two we should take out because here we actually have two coming at the same height. Hmm, so it probably makes more sense to take out the upper one and maybe this one. Yeah, but it's already too, too thick actually to really wire it down. So we'll take the lower one because it's simply growing too far upwards. So meaning this one here, which simply doesn't give it a very nice look. So let me try to get these ones out. Dwarf pomegranate itself is very brittle, the wood, so it is always quite difficult to get out these cuttings then. So there we go. 
Also in this lower branch, we have a lot of crossing branches. Here's one very long one that shoots upwards that we can take out. And little by little, we continue to reduce the height. I do see this as the main trunk. I'm not sure if we'll actually keep it all the way up till here or reduce it more than that. And might even go with one of those two branches down here. That might actually make sense. If this is a nice side branch, I'm quite happy with this. But I think I'm not happy with this as the apex. So once again, we take this out. And we have a potential apex here or here in the back. Here it is still very cluttered. Also this one comes from a point where it doesn't really benefit the size or the, the look of the tree. This back branch we can shorten a bit. Also, of course, improving the taper through that in the future. Here it has died back. So it also take this out. Yep, definitely has died back at this point. And some growth that's growing downwards that is also not really desirable. Also here we can take it out. And also here. This one is in parallel to the main trunk, so we'll also take it out. And I would still shorten this one here, also working in the future on the taper. And as we have a nice side branch here in the back, I would actually reduce it to this. And just giving it a basic structure at the moment for the next growth season, there will be a lot of new growth, there will be a lot of taper, hopefully a taper work on it in the next growth season also. And then we can easily see in what direction this tree actually is going. So let me have, a, have another look here. But I would say here it's still a bit too cluttered because we have so many branches coming out from this growth point here that I'm thinking reducing it even more to one of those two. And I think this one doesn't look too healthy here in the back. So we'll take this one out and be done with this. Up we have reduced it. I might even, because here we have a very long branch that is basically the same width all the way to the top. So I really don't like the taper on this one. We might also further reduce this one. And we have the sacrificial branch, as I said, which in the future we will have reduced. And the side branch also now in comparison is a bit too long. So I also would take it back to maybe two smaller side branches here. And of course, in the future, thinking this one will be gone. I think we have a nice basic structure for the tree. Reducing also here a bit. What you have to keep in mind when working on a pomegranate, um, the years you really work a lot on the structure of the tree on, tree, on the branches of the tree, it will not bear any fruit normally because the fruit comes from the new growth over the one year old growth, which it doesn't have in this point or at this point then. So don't expect to have really a lot of fruit on the tree in that year then. So taking one more look from all different angles. But I must say I'm quite happy with the outcome. I hope it gives you an idea on how this tree will look like in the future. Of course, it is still hard to say as there will be a lot of more work done on this tree in the future. But I think the structure is already quite visible now. If you have any suggestions on how to improve the structure still in the future, of course, feel free to leave those in the comments. I always am happy to hear them. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And if you enjoyed this channel, of course, also feel free to subscribe. Until next time then. Goodbye.